audience. Welcome to a brief tutorial by statistics. My full name is Musina Dariga. I'm a teacher of public health and biostatistics at Simei State Medical University. Many students are interested in basics of biostatistics for doing research in biomedical field. So I prepared for you audiovisual aids for effective learning. I hope that you enjoy this part. Okay, let's start from the first lecture of biostatistics course. Introduction to Biostatistics. Report is prepared by Musina Dariga. So, I'm going to tell about data, statistics, descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, source of data, biostatistics, variables, population, sample and measurement scale. Well, what is a statistics? Statistics is a field of study concerned with the collection, organization, summarization, interpretation and analysis of data and the drawing of inferences about the body of data when only a part of the data is observed. Statistics consists of two types. It's descriptive and inferential statistics. With descriptive statistics you describe or summarize things you definitely know. For example, you know how many patients were hospitalized in clinic with breast cancer during one month, so you can easily make a graph, a chart or table for summarizing or displaying facts known to you. With inferential statistics, you are doing more than just describing. You go on to compare groups, test the hypothesis and make predictions. For instance, as a scientist you can select two groups which take different drugs and compare changes of variables like how you influence drug to urine analysis. Biostatistics is a branch of statistics. Biostatistics focus on the biological and health sciences. Also, it concerned with all aspects of data – planning of the study, collecting and organizing the information, analyzing the data and interpreting the results. The raw material of statistics is data. No data, no statistics, no research. Data are numbers, numbers contain information, and the purpose of statistics is to investigate and evaluate the nature and the meaning of this information. Firstly, I want to explain what kinds of sources of data exist. So, the first source is routinely kept reports. It's day-to-day -day transactions of activities. For example, many patients come to polyclinic to check up their body. Every day, all information is gathered by medical staff using special statistical programs. If you have routinely kept records, you can easily calculate birth rate, death rate, incidence and prevalence. The second source is series. If the data needed to answer questions are not available from routinely kept records, the logical source may be a survey. For example, you observe from routinely kept records that incidence of cervix cancer in this year higher than last year. The incidence of cervix cancer has increased by 20%. Next step should be a survey. It can be questionnaire, interviews. You can um, define the reason of the growth of cases of cervix cancer. The third source is experiments. A nurse may wish to know which several strategies are best for maximizing patient compliance. Or you can organize experimental study like randomized clinical trial, case control. Ok, I will tell about study designs on the next lectures. The last source is external sources. So it's information from articles. The most powerful research are published in journals which are indexed by Web of Science, Scopus, Nowadays, audience read uh, articles from PubMed, Cochrane Library, EBSCO. Uh, first of all, before analyzing data, scientists read professional articles for investigating the situation of spreading out cervix cancer in developed and developing countries to compare between them. This is PubMed, where you can find results of many researches. For instance, you are interested in national screening program for detecting uh, tumors on early stages, especially about cost-effectiveness of screening. So you go on to PubMed and use keywords like cost-effectiveness, breast cancer, screening and search all articles. It can be abstracts, full text, free full text. You can choose types of uh, articles using filter like clinical trial, review. Also select publication dates. It's Cochrane Library. Measurement scale. Flow chart illustrates type of data or measurement scales. Four measurement scales exist – nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. When you want to investigate something, you can create questionnaire for defining reason of problems, which is defined from routinely kept records. In questionnaire, every question is variable. So let's start from nominal variables. Examples of nominal variables. It can be dichotomies like male, female, well, sick, 
under 65 years of age, 65 and over, child, adult, married, non-married, or you can use numbers to distinguish among various medical diagnoses. You can write some variables like position, status, and so on. The ordinal scale has an ordinal or natural order. Don't forget that nominal and ordinal measurement scales are qualitative variables. Examples of ordinal variables. When you want to know about patient's quality of life after rehabilitation, you can write variable in questionnaire like how do you assess your quality of life after rehabilitation? And options should be there uh, like poor, fair, good, excellent, also unimproved, improved, much improved, low, medium, high. I think you understand. The interval scale. All possible values are numbers. Its distance between any two measurements, between 20 and 30, between 40 and 50, uh, or it can be weather or body temperature. Okay, the last scale is a ratio scale. Ratio data is interval data with natural zero point. Examples of the interval scale, height, weight, length, value, age, number of eggs, number of children. It is examples of variables or questions in questionnaire. Nominal scale. What is your gender? male, female, what is your hair color, brown, black, blonde, gray, other. Also, you can code these options for doing statistics easily, because people can make mistakes in spelling, but if options have codification, it will be more accurate. Ordinal scale. How do you feel today? Very unhappy, unhappy, okay, happy, very happy. We also can code options. The second example for ordinal variable. Uh, how satisfied are you with our service? Very satisfied, somewhat unsatisfied, neutral, somewhat satisfied, very satisfied. Uh, interval scale, uh, it is a tool for measuring products uh, and ratio scale, tool for measuring height. The next meanings are population and sample. Population is a collection of entities, usually people. Population has two types, finite and unfinite. Finite is a fixed number of values, and finite is an endless succession of values. A sample may be defined simply as a part of population by age, sex, nations, weight and height. In video, drumsticks are shown. All drumsticks are population, uh, selected drumsticks are sample. Many statistical packages or programs exist to calculate sample size from population. For example, you can take official information about total number of breast cancer patients in powder region. In this case, total number of breast cancer patients is population and sample size is selected numbers of patients who take part in your survey. So what is that variable? I think you have understood it. Uh, definition of variable. A variable is a mathematical model for characteristic observed and measured in an experiment, survey or observational study. As I said before, in questionnaire, variable is question, or you can organize experimental study like randomized clinical trial. Uh, you choose two groups, giving to one group a drug, to another group placebo, and compare changes of blood pressure of two groups. In this case, variable is blood pressure. After analyzing all results, you can conclude how influence drug to blood pressure. Variable or data consists of two types, qualitative and quantitative. Numerical or quantitative data is numerical values. Uh, quantitative data has two types, discrete and continuous. Discrete data, if you can count, it is, uh, then it is discrete. Example of discrete data, uh, number of daily admissions, number of women. Uh, continuous variable, if you can measure it, it is continuous. Uh, various measurements like height, weight. Uh, Qualitative data has two types, nominal and ordinal. Uh, nominal variable, if you can brand it, then it's nominal. Examples of nominal variable, sex, male, female, color, nations. Uh, ordinal data, if you can order or rank it, then it's ordinal. Uh, examples of ordinal variable, academic level, grade, temperature, like cold, cool, hot, height, uh, short, average, and tall. So, it is an example of ordinal variable. In studies measuring pain or pain relief, visual analog scales are often used. These scales involve a continuous line segment with endpoints labeled as no pain or no pain uh, relief and severe or complete pain relief. 
Further, there may be adjectives or descriptions written along the line sigmas. Patients are asked uh, to mark the point along the scale that represents their status. This is a treated then as a continuous variable. Figure uh, displays scale for pain relief and pain which patients would mark. Another example, uh, trauma patients can assess their pain in leg after using two methods of operations. Doctors will be able to choose more effective methods after observing their level of pain for further involving in their routine practice. Feedback. For each of the following variables, indicate whether it's quantitative or qualitative and specify the measurement scale, the nominal, the ordinal, the interval, the ratio that is employed when taking measurement on each. Uh, first, uh, weight of babies uh, born in the hospital during year. It is quantitative variable, the ratio scale. Uh, gender of babies born in the hospital during a year. Uh, it is a qualitative variable, the nominal scale. Uh, underarm temperature of the old infants born in hospital. It is a quantitative variable, the interval scale. Uh, admitting diagnosis of patients admitted to mental health clinic. It is a qualitative variable, the nominal scale. Uh, and the range of motions of a joint of students enrolled in the University Health Sciences curriculum. It is a qualitative variable, the ordinal scale. Thanks a lot for paying attention. I hope that you enjoy this lecture. Goodbye.